Hello guys, welcome to today's video by Trust Stanley. This is a TS Tech Talks video. On today's video, guys, I'm going to show you how to add an animated test under a moving object. Not exactly an animated test, but it's actually a trick that I'm going to be showing you guys today on Kind Master. Let me show you guys exactly what I'm going to be doing so that you know if you are going to be interested in watching this video. So this person is going to walk by and then the test is going to display this is a very cool trick actually um if you guys are interested in knowing how to do this that is exactly what i'm going to be showing you on today's video but if not you can just skip this video and come on my next video or check some other video on my channel to know which one you want to watch best so on today's video guys i'm going to be doing this exact thing on kind master um kind master is actually the only um application that i can be able to do this on right now so let's dive into that go ahead and download if you already have this particular video um, i already downloaded my own clip so go ahead and get yours once you have yours ready now go ahead and open your kind master i'm going to click on kind master application and wait for it to load all right guys once your kind master is open all you need to do is to click on create right there and then click on whichever aspect ratio you want to make use of and click on next wait for it to load up once it loads up it's going to bring you to this area so i'm going to go over my download area and then click on that particular click clip and now click ok to have it re-encode for us the reason why it's re-encoding is because previously it's not the same size that it was um downloaded with i downloaded it with uh, i think it's 920 by 1080 pixel so you have to re-encode it to 720 to by um 406 so wait for that to complete once it completes we can start editing all right now it has completed so you can notice on the timeline area it should be displaying on the timeline area if it hasn't displayed yet that is because you are still right on this area so go ahead and close this out and you can see the video now let me go ahead and play the video so that you see how it plays and there is no audio on the video so this is like guy and this is the plain video now we are going to go ahead and add our test and have it um display over the screen now the first thing we need to do is to add our test to add our test all you need to do is to go ahead and click on the layer area tap on the layer area and then tap on test and now go ahead and add whichever test you want but for my case i'm going to be adding my channel um my channel name which is ts I'm going to add space, tech, space, go, oh, tech, space, and then talk. So I have TS Tech Talk. Just click on OK once you're done typing, and it will be displayed on the screen, right? Now I'm going to click on it, and then I'm going to drag down on the bottom area to make it bigger. I think it's big enough. Now you notice on the left hand area, under the property area, you notice where it has um, the A capital and the small letter A. Go ahead and tap on that. That actually allows you to choose a different font. So I'm going to leave it under the Android font and scroll down to where it has Robo Black now the reason why i'm choosing this robo black is because it's the biggest font format you can scroll over to see if you have any other one you prefer to use but for my case i want to make use of this one so after you selected it just go ahead and click on this s icon on the top right area to close it so once that is closed i just confirmed and you notice it's displaying on the screen now the next thing i want to change this text color to red so the first thing you need to do is to tap on the test and you notice under this property area you notice where it has the default color on white right just after the scissors icon now click on that white color and it's going to display all of the color that are available for you now i think the um, red color I'm using is this one. So just click on that particular red color and you can notice it has been Selected under this area and then just click on this check icon to confirm now you notice our already displaying right now The next thing for us to do is to actually add um, Something that is going to cover it and have it 
um, um, cover the test until the person walks by. Now go ahead and draw a rectangle. Now to draw a rectangle, I will have to click outside um, to deselect the test. And now on the area where we have layer, again, click on the layer section. And now click on this handwriting option to draw the test. Now under this handwriting section, on default, it's meant to select this particular one. I think it's this drawing brush. So um, whatever is selected, um, I'm not very sure if it's this brush. Whatever is selected anyway, just click on it and go ahead and select the square, the square next to that brush, below the brush. Go ahead and click on that and you can notice it's selected. And now under this, um, after the selection after that fix selection you notice where it has this green color it might be showing different color on your own depending on the default color you have on your own screen but just make sure you click on that next option to select the color that you want to make use of so we are going to make use of green if you do not see green on the top area just scroll down you are going to see the green this is actually the green i selected so it's more like um um the green screen that is um being on default which is one two is actually the third green that i just selected so if you have selected it click on the check icon to confirm and now the next thing we need to do is to draw over the um over the test so i'm going to click just slightly on top of um the k and then draw it down and then draw it backward till it covers the ts tech now i'm very sure it covers the ts tech but for some reason um we want to know and we want to be very sure that we are seeing this test so we are going to make it and uh, reduce the opacity a little so go ahead and click on this check icon to confirm that you are done drawing click on the handwriting and now you notice where is it has um alpha bracket opacity right go ahead and click on the opacity area and then move it down to like um, 53 the reason why i draw it i move it down is just for us to see our test so that we won't be walking blindly here so if you do not do that actually you are not going to be seeing your test and it's going to make your work um unprofessional now the next thing we need to do guys before we start um um, doing our editing working on our test we have to actually zoom in to our video editor so you need to use your two thumb and then open it you notice you notice the um, timeline area is getting bigger so you need to zoom in properly like um, you need to zoom in a lot so that when you are editing it actually gives you um, an accurate editing so that you do not make mistake on where the guy is walking past now the next thing i need to do is to scroll 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 to actually get where the guy started moving so um this is where the guy started moving so i'm going to have to draw this even further I'm going to draw it further to the timeline area where the guy came towards um came in contact with the test so i think the guy is already in the test now i'm going to um scroll and then i should have actually done this before before i zoomed out it would have been best and would have made the job easier but that's fine no this is not fine i'm going to zoom out so that i will be able to do it faster all right so i think this is enough the person have just walked past so i'm going to click on the test on top and then do the same thing too now um when you satisfy just go ahead and leave it i don't think it's the same i have to make them exactly the same yeah i'm not getting it as early is not perfect you know what you know what let me move it since it's not perfect i'm going to move it further and then i will cut it with the scissors to click on split select that area click on it it's already selected anyway but just click and then delete the delete is on the left hand area if you didn't notice where i clicked click on split and then click on delete now i just deleted that area now let's go back even further so this is where the person came in contact with the test right so um i'm going to move it to where the key stopped where the person um passed the key and now i'm going to click on the handwriting one i think is this one no this is the test this is the handwriting 
So um, I just selected the handwriting. Now you notice on this left hand area, just before the trash can, there is this um, key icon. Go ahead and click on the key icon. What it actually does, it actually um, is going to create a key frame under that particular area if you are very familiar with um, animation. So I want to create key frame on that area to do different thing when it gets to that point. So um, you notice when I just selected on this key, on the left hand area, it displays animation. So where it displays animation, you notice where we have this plus icon, the first option actually, that's what you need to click. So I will be clicking on it regularly once I want to move the rectangle. So right now, the guy just moved beyond the key. Just notice the character on our scene. It just moved beyond the key. So I'm going to click on this plus icon and then move the rectangle to the back of the guy's clothes. And then move my mouse or probably the scene um, towards the key, towards the L. The guy just got past the L. So um, once you get past the L, I'm going to create another keyframe right there and then move it backward towards L also. And then I'm going to move our scene also till we get past the A. And the same thing you need to do, click on it and then move it backward. And then um, move it um, beyond the T and then do the same thing. So this is how I'm going to be working on it until I get to the last character. So that is the last one. Now, um, this, we are actually done with this. So the next thing we need to do is to get rid of the background. So um, go ahead and click on the background. You notice the delete on the left area, click on that. And now click on the um, media on the left hand, on the right hand area, click on image asset, just select any color, any default color and then scroll left and then go ahead and change the color. But before we change the color, click on the um, previous rectangle we created, click on this alpha and then make it 100% so that it's going to be 100%. And then click on this image and then change this image color to the same green color like the one we have on our, on our rectangle and then confirm it. So once you're done with that, um, click on this check icon Click on that first background you selected, draw the timeline until it gets to the end of that particular video. Um, I think it ends here. So once you're done, go ahead and export. Click on this export key on the top right area, save your video, and uh, it might show some adverts. Just close the advert, or once you show this stuff, just click on skip, and then it starts saving your video. So let's wait for the video to complete and then we continue. All right, now click on the create new. Um, I already have this on default, sustain ratio nine. Click on new. So click on media and click under download to get your video wherever you have it. Click on okay to have it encode, leave it while it, all right. So um, our encoding is complete. Go ahead and click on this S icon on the top right to close that off. Go to the beginning of the video, click on this layer, click on media to import our video, click on KineMaster and you can notice the video we have. I actually did a lot of testing, so I'm just going to click on anyone. So um, when you open the video, the first thing you need to do is to make the video bigger to fit the screen. Now, the option you need to use to do that is to select this option under the property area. There is this rectangle option that has um, a three or four dotted line, four dotted line um, in the middle of it. Just go ahead and click on that. And now you notice where it says off. Off is actually the first option. Just choose the second option next to off or the option opposite of click on that it will fit your screen it will fit your video into the screen click on this check icon to confirm now the next thing we need to do is to remove the green screen click under the video on the timeline scroll over to the property area until you see chroma click on chroma key 
enable the chroma key and then click on confirm allow the video to play and then watch how it goes guys you might not get this perfectly right the first time you are doing it you might have to go over some trial and error until you get it right but it's always okay to try it out if you get it perfectly like right like me it's fine but i didn't think i get this right the first time so you need to go over it several times before you get it right and also i need to remove more green on it so all i need to do is to click on the test on the timeline area and click on the chroma key try to move this slightly backward to like 15 or 16 and then move the strength of the um, red to be bigger so i think this is perfect enough click on this check icon and go ahead and render your video if you are okay so if this is cool i think that is all for today's video and if you like it smash that like button subscribe to the channel and guys i'm going to see you on my next video please stay safe guys and peace